Um, and I knew, I knew the kind of story I wanted to tell. I knew the age of the person and sort of thematically what I was interested in, but I didn't know literally where she would be. Initially, I thought it would be a bigger triumph in terms of she got a, you know, maybe a part on a soap opera or something that would really get us into the world of behind the scenes. And then I found that I really wasn't in the next book I might do that, but that for this I was more interested in waiting, um, auditioning, um, uh, not knowing what was going to happen, and just the tiny little, and that feeling when you're completely on the outside of something looking in, that's because so many people in general and young actors specifically spend so much time there um, and many people never get beyond that. I just thought that's that's what I wanted to focus on. So that's what it ended up being. But the story changed throughout the process. You know, in the 90s, the way you kept your calendar was to write it down. And I well remember at the end of a year, you could look back and see literally physically your your year and 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 that there would be certain weeks and certain pages of the date book that would get all muddled because they'd had so much action you know and and there's something very satisfying and tactile about okay taking that and putting that year away and starting fresh and I don't have that with my iPhone calendar it's just not the same <laughs> feeling and um so, yeah, I would say, and I tried to communicate it as best I could, so much of being an actor at any level is waiting. And then one day you get a call, you know, or you don't. But you don't know when or if that will happen. And especially when you're starting out, the waves are even more dramatic.